Greetings fellow Anaholics. Welcome back to another Anno 1800 Let's Play. It's certainly been a while, like two weeks I guess, without any Anno 1800 content. And yep, it has to stop. It's definitely going to be worth your while though, because I've looked up some new mods that we can play around with. And we got Jacob's Collection, a new mod overhaul of, well, some of the uh, tiers that we have in this game. So tier 1 to 3 is going to be overhauled. We have an additional population tier available now in the game. So the Pescatarians, they're being called. Um, so tier 1 to tier 3 and then also Engineers um, with their whole new production chains and they will have to live simultaneously to the normal tiers of Anno 1800 as well. So this is going to spice things up there a bit. We're going to see some new content finally and we also need to juggle two civilization types now on the island on one island basically also we got some new additions like new colors we got new um, worker skyscrapers now as well so workers can be upgraded to skyscraper buildings which once again is also changing the game there fundamentally um well quite a lot actually and on to spice it all up we are also going to play of course once more on well one of the harder difficulties in this game but without further ado let's get cracking to the settings we are also taking, well, a different banner this time, no cat banner. Name is, as always, Nevarius for the DLC. It's very important. I'm turning off the sunken treasures. We don't want to go to Crown Falls this time. I'm also turning off the passage. Um, Bright Harvest can stay, High Life can stay, Tourist Season can stay, Docklands, and very important, Land of Lions can stay too, because this is needed for the new production chains that we're going to see in the old world. Next up, these are fine. And then we go for the real difficulty settings. Of course, as always, we want to keep the expert level. For that, well, we do need to keep the starting wall size, island size, island difficulty on medium, fertility on medium. This is, why do I keep it on medium only? Because then we have room to build. This is not really difficult. Um, difficulty, right? Smaller islands are possible as well, but I would like to build a bigger city and that's why we keep it on medium. For the AI opponents, three three-star AI opponents, no military mod this time. Time. we're going with the vanilla hardest ai opponents miss hunt once again is in the game there as well for the factions let's keep the traders online because they have some interesting quests there the pirates of course are on hard difficulty so they will be some trouble for us for the features we're going with really hard settings so income is low we will have to struggle with money all the time the inactive upkeep is up there we also will need to pay if we need to if we want to relocate buildings city incidents like fires are on hard quest frequency is rare influence is low skyscraper upkeep is on high so everything really expensive we're going with a starting harbor no ships at the moment i really like this approach i really like this start um, because we basically have to start uh, our first shipyard there and that's always feeling special when we finally build a ship and get out into the world starting capital is small so every single cent that we spend in the beginning will match and of course there's not going to be any revealed map we're playing with endless mode available so no winning conditions as always i'm looking forward to this on the one side we're having a really hard difficulty on the other hand we're having a whole new population that we need on our island to maintain i'm looking forward to that i hope you do too let's get cracking Alrighty, and here we are now on a fresh island. This is exciting. Like, this is as vanilla as the game, game could get, um, but still with uh, quite a few new vital um, mods that we have. So we are playing on a snowflake map, so our, our, every opponent is in the corner, and then we have random islands in between that we don't know about yet. We're playing on the great island of Voss, so carry Voss there, thank you for your support. And I think this is a really cool name, so, well, why not use it as a city name? name and well what we definitely will need to do and we need to keep in mind here is that we are going to have two population types on this island as the main island as the capital city um so we do have the normal people now the farmer residences right so they don't change at all and then we have the pescatarians these are the ones here these are unlocking with a 1500 arson so that we should reach rather quickly and then we open up a whole new batch of people that starts at farmers once again so pescatarian farmers going all the way up to artisans and then engineers and we are also going to have worker skyscrapers how cool is that we don't have that yet we never had that yet for starters i'm going to well begin with a well basic production let's just have a quick look around on the island itself it's a beautiful island isn't it in all its glory here and we do have potato fertility grain fertility grape fertility we do have three clay deposits 
and two iron deposits that we can use and exploit for our materials then and a bit of copper and a bit of oil for electricity for some basic electricity production later on i would like to go ahead now um we're going to have one road um one big road most likely so let's just make sure that we do have a nice going over there perfect so this is one big straight road that actually will connect i guess both parts of this island here this is really cool that cliff that we have there that is going to separate our um, cities um, and then i'm going to continue over there we need to be very careful though um, because of my money we only have twenty-five thousand credits available right now and it's going to drop quickly and as always we're starting with a basic timber production we are going to need quite a lot of timber and i'm going ahead here with four um, productions as usual that we can have then here so they're all then assigned right here to my warehouse then as well this one and we also have this one and this one i'm going to connect it with the warehouse so just in case we are full on timber we can then also use the logs for something else and then we're going right into our main city itself and here well we probably will start with only one side of the city for now and it then separates into this part and into this part here right so there we have then the separation really and i think let's start the normal buildings on the smaller side and the new pescatarians with their new unique buildings then on the higher side on the left side with a monument then perhaps I should really stop um, having so many streets all the time because it's we already spent 2,000 credits on that and this is just way too much. And let's go ahead and have some first, well, some first blocks here. I like this block a lot with a little entrance that we have there. And then we can also go with uh, this block here once again with our special entrances. So nothing really is changing here. I'm using the same layouts as in my Mega City um playthrough um and then we are probably going to use one that has a normal block in it right that we can use and then perhaps also this normal um what uh, oh well square block that we have as well we can then continue with uh, these blocks here in the at the coastline so this one and this one looking at each other and then we're going to have our first marketplace most likely here that is also going to have then a pub just here as well being attached to that we don't have the fishery yet and un unlock but we should be having some 10 tons of fish available at the market itself that's good and let's go ahead and actually get cracking with the first farmers that are now moving in and with that we have started the age of agriculture nothing really has changed here right until we unlock the pescatarians we're stopping at 10 tons of timber because this way we can build the next warehouse over here and then we can start with our first productions for the timber boy we are now completely out of timber this was close and also the first farmers are moving in soon hopefully so we got minus 20 at the moment let's build a third sawmill there right away so that we really ramp up this production asap these people are now moving in slowly but steadily they have the market and that's basically it and this is exciting it's always exciting to have a fresh new city when we know how freaking complex this game can get and we are just enjoying the view in the first person mode we can actually also see then the other islands over there already with their big mountains and these are going to be hopefully islands that we can conquer for ourselves as always our first target though is getting to workers and starting on our first ships that we can produce in order to explore the map as we can see, farmers are moving in, so we are going up now on the workforce, and this should also now jumpstart our economy, basically with our first productions, there it is. The first logs are being transported to the sawmill, and out of the logs we are making some juicy timber that is already being unloaded then as well, and there it is, the next timber coming in. Just on time, we have unlocked the next building types. So my fishermen or my farmers would like to have some fish now. And for that, we do have the fishery. That requires 25 farmers already. So yeah, not that cheap. Let's get the fishery here. And before I build it though, let's build us a few more farmers. So these guys here perhaps. 
and now the fishery, right? So because we are basically negative on the farmers then again. We're playing an expert level, so we really, really need to watch out how, what we build first if we don't want to fail. Um, as we also can see, we are now coming close below 20k and we are having 140 negative on the balance. So that's going to hurt us a lot playing with low income. And yeah, 76 people are living here so far in Voss. More timber is coming in. Let's continue with our next upgrades. So here we have that and here the next block is finished. Still only the normal farmers yet. And boy, I've also got a little surprise for the new world, by the way. I haven't said that yet, but the Honolaris and Obreros are going to look a bit different this time as well. So we are not playing with many mods, so this is nothing like the Mega City Let's Play. But instead, we're using some real overhaul mods that are changing basically everything about these territories. And that's, I think, also pretty cool. All right, we got the farmers. Let's actually build the next sawmill there. We've also reached a new city status that is of a village. Let's go ahead with the additional timber and get us the next block finished here. As more people are starting to move in. We've also dropped now finally below 20k. We need to be so careful with the money here. We're still negative on the balance. Let's go ahead and get us more people. So is, if this is actually the first time you're watching NO1800, then let me just assign you, or, well, tell you that oh, these people here pay taxes. And the more people we have, the more money comes in. But they also have requirements and consumptions. And we need to get the economy running there as well. So it's always a nice balance there. Pretty hard balance between income and production let's go ahead we are having a very unhappy population right now reason for that is these people have a new demand and that's the pop and the pop is something they want urgently if we don't do that well then we get the first fires and riots on the street so the pop let's pull it over here beside the marketplace right here so we do have a little plaza area here now where people can purchase stuff and also can drink their souls away with that we are going uh, with a content population once more perfect and let's continue with some additional blocks of houses. Um, this one, uh, let's actually have this one. Actually, have a full block of, of buildings here. And here, perfect, we can actually squeeze in a, a square block there once more. Together with this one. Fine. And here we have these cute little entrances there once more. That I do like a lot, especially with some ornaments then next to them. This one, this one might be a bigger block here once more. So we could go ahead with one of these. Right, and then we are going with some normal blocks here once more. There is going to be room for school somewhere here that we need to keep in mind. So this area probably I'm reserving for school with a little park behind it. And then we just have some normal blocks here once more. Perfect. More timber is coming in. Let's go ahead and build us the next houses. And we have a surplus product or surplus workforce of 140 farmers at the moment. Dropping still in money though. So in order to advance with the next productions, let's have a road up here into this northern area or northeastern area of the island right now. And here we are going to start now with our next productions. That is two of them. The first one would be the sheep farms and the other one would be the potato farms. Let's just go ahead. We could also have the sheep farms here. I think we're going with the sheepies here in this area. This is going to work out nicely. We don't need that many of them, right? So we don't need to mass spam them or anything like that let's actually have them wait a second have them here with six tiles on that side so i can squeeze in some two um sheep folds into that right and with that we could have them here our sheepies and i can just copy this one and just use it this whole row there right so we do need yeah, we have six now. That would be six framework knitters. We also need something for the sail making. Let's go ahead and have us a, a warehouse here. Because in this area, we are going to have then two only or two for the sail making, right? So we can easily squeeze them into uh, this area then. And I'm just going to adjust my road setup there. 
around the sheep farms, right? So there we have that. And here we can then have our framework knitters. And of them, we do need quite a few. So I'm going ahead with four for now. And then we have room for two sail makers or in, on that side. And here I would like to have my potato fields. So let's go ahead and have the warehouse for now over here. I'm going to have then the potato farms, these guys here. But we're going to have the schnapps distilleries in between this time. So I'm going ahead and have my schnapps distilleries in a block of four each. I mean, we're playing on City Incidents hard, so we might we might regret this. I'm still trying it with a fire station close by that is working on that as well. Right, so that's that. That means we have eight. That means we need eight potato farms. And we can have them just here lined up to the ocean. So I'm probably going to squeeze it in here. There you go. And this one, can we actually squeeze in another one here? We could do this. I mean, we would waste some beach area there, but that's going to be fine, right? And then I'm just taking this one and I'm going to copy it a couple of times. One more and this one is the last one. And then we have all the potato that we need for these schnapps distilleries here. And they're just delivering the potato then to the schnapps distillery and the schnapps distillery delivers it to the warehouse. We might need a second warehouse in this area since it's going to be quite a lot of schnapps distilleries. I'm talking way too much. Let's go ahead with the first two potato farms and the first two schnapps distilleries plus the warehouse. Expensive already as it is, right? This is now starting its production on this glorious day of the foundation of boss. Going to take a while before the first potatoes uh, come in. So we can now move over here to my sheep farms. Let's build the warehouse and then I'm going ahead with the first two sheep farms and the first two framework niches. Also going to take a while now here for the sheepies to produce us some wools. Oh, well, it happens. We also get the first Fancy resident quest. Wild animals are eating all my hens. Find no, them. This is a rather easy quest, and it's usually happening in the beginning right away. So we only need to find the wild animals. There it is. There's going to be a random reward for this wolf here. Let's capture it. We'll gather, and we get a bosom out. out of that. So this is for the ships. Damage slowed down 40%. Or we just sell it for 6,000 at RJs. We might be doing that, as we're still running down on money. Negative 400 on the balance. That is because, of course, we have now additional productions, the work clothes and the potatoes, right? And this is costing me... Oh, the schnapps distilleries are especially expensive with 40 each building that it costs us. So we do need to compensate with building more houses. And I'm doing that just over there. We have the timber after all. And with this, we also grow to over 300 in population. Meanwhile, I continue with expanding my houses a bit. So we are now here at the cliff, right? We want to be as close to that as possible. Since we're playing on expert mode and since my income is rather low, um, we will need to really use every centimeter, every inch of this island here to the most effective way. Um, there we have another block. And then I'm going ahead with uh, one of these blocks here once more. That we could, could we squeeze it in like that? Ah, perfect. It's possible. And there we have that as well. So this is almost completely finished now. Let's just go ahead and have another road here. God, these roads are expensive. Let's stop with that. Here we have then the school. That's what we need for the workers then. And I think Fresh we should also be seeing here. now, there it is, the first workload coming in and the first schnapps coming in. Perfect. Let's check our production ratings there quickly. As we can see, fish has a positive supply of plus one per minute right now, schnapps of plus two, and work cloth is not fully working yet. It will be at plus um, one there, I think, or plus two actually. Perfect. More than expected. And we definitely will need now another fishery for the additional fish that comes in. I'm going to place them a bit further outside so we can have another key, or key here, sorry another key and we could then attach two more fisheries into this one and they deliver those resources then over to the warehouse that we have we have a very happy population right now thanks to having the schnapps in let's build us a few more houses here and here and perhaps also here and then we should be soon able to upgrade our first farmers now, with the additional products coming in, the additional schnapps, people, that drink, they, they like to drink a lot of schnapps, right? And with all that schnapps, we are finally positive on the balance, even though 
ever so slightly and 25 is not going to change a lot um here we still are at 13k so we are soon coming below 10k we do need 10,000 for the shipyard so we need to be very careful how much more we want to spend really let's just get the next upgrades going here and let's also just check here schnapps isn't fully satisfied yet workload is not fully satisfied yet so the last person that needs to move in is still waiting there a bit and only if we have 10 of 10 farmers for each building we can upgrade them to workers so we still need to wait there a bit and while we wait let's also consider the fact that we have three expert ai opponents out there not boosted by the military mod but still pretty strong i'm going to be uh, i'm very interested how the additional population that i have to supply here now the pescatarians is working out then with the expert ais that we have and how they react to that and how much weaker i am actually by having that we could also be of course much stronger even though i doubt that because it's not a military mod or anything like that it just adds more mouse to feed really uh, let's continue there with another block i would like to have one of these and what's going on here now come on there's the last schnapps so we should be seeing now the last farmer there it is and finally we can upgrade my people over 600 now on the global population as we start now with the first workers that move in. You reach a new milestone. There you go. Beautiful buildings. I'm always baffled what a jump it is from farmers to workers. Age of industrialization is upon us. And of course, we continue right away with the next upgrades here. Now That's available too is our skin painters. So we can now go ahead and change the look of these workers if we want to make them a bit more colorful perhaps um, or a bit darker depends on what we want and since I'm really trying something new here let's actually go with the Boston style the American style that I would like to have right here as well for the workers and there you go with the next upgrades now with that we do consume farmers because farmers become workers we have 80 workers as workforce right now over 700 people the balance is looking a bit better and of course the workers have new <laughs> new demands sausage bread soap the school also a church and beer these things are unlocking a bit later though we can already prepare though, our next production and that is the new building material that we are going to need here now and that's the bricks let's just find i think over here yes i saw a clay deposit and we could really nicely use this one here in this corner so i would like to go ahead we are having a, another warehouse here i guess we can squeeze it in nicely perfect and have oh look at that upgradable workers there it is the modern worker residence with this we can actually upgrade our workers to skyscraper workers and let me tell you these buildings look fantastic overall and I'm, i can't wait to upgrade them we do need 700 engineers for that so it's a bit further away but still we are getting there let's get us oh no it's with one tile it's not working out if i get rid of the road here we can squeeze it in but then this warehouse doesn't have a connection now oh this is bad this is bad i would like to use that space here though let's get rid of let's get rid of the sheep farm here and i'm going to move the huh wait a second i could move the warehouse over there have the connection made right and then instead we can use the sheep farm up here too that should be working out. It's one tile again. It's one tile again. It's not working out with one tile. This is a nightmare. This is not working. Okay, we have it here. Then I will have a sailmaker here and a sailmaker here. If we want to fully utilize this area there. Since these are brick factories, they're not going to produce that much so quickly. Um, it should not overload my warehouse, which only has two ramps available right now. So if I want to continue here having more sheepies, we do need another warehouse then probably somewhere down here or even here for the sheep farms, right? But for now, it's working good. Looking good too. And we could actually have a road here and have it like that because they can then also deliver to this warehouse if there's some ramps available. Another level up. Perfect. That's because, of course, we do get more workers in. Oh, and we get the first fire in the city as well. Since city incident is on hard, of course, fires happen rather quickly. Let's build us the first fire station as well. And that is something I'm going to do right over there. Of course, the firefighters need to be trained first. Righto. 
So that's going to take a while. These are workers, so as we can see, they lose HP, but they should survive that. They should survive that. Continue with a few more upgrades here, and let's also get more workers in. So here we have those upgrades. Speaking about firefighters, I will build this fire station here now. We definitely should be doing that. And I'm going to also have a firefighter here, a fire station here for this whole industrial district there. They cost me, of course, 500 credits each and 25 on the maintenance cost, but they're absolutely required. Otherwise, my whole village is burning down, which is probably happening here already. I should have slaughtered more sheep to the gods, but unfortunately, it was a bit too late on that side here. All right, we still have a bit of timber. Let's continue with upgrading. The new city state is Port Town. Voss is growing. Let's also have more farmers over here then. There you go. Looking actually pretty good. Also with the fire, we got some nice celebration, I guess. And so far so good. We continue here then in the next episode onwards. Stay tuned.